to my channel if you're new thank you for stopping by if you're oldie thank you for returning y'all it is beauty collab month and the host for this month was lauren and lauren wanted us to do a bubblegum theme i look so that's what i did this colorful look was inspired by bubblegum yes bubblegum y'all i use this beauty glaze palette this is our palette that we work out of and color studio these are the colors y'all when i tell y'all these colors are very pigmented they are very pigmented when i started out with that red i was like uh-uh because -uh. i ain't used to just going straight in with no bold colors like that but i did it y'all so this is the look i came up with make sure y'all go check out the beauty collab family um channel i will put everybody link in my description box and if you hadn't already, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down in the comment section. And if you want to see how I created this look, yes, then just keep on watching. Okay, y'all, so I'm using this Color Studio palette. And the first shade I'm going in, I don't know, I'm going to go in this red, y'all. And I'm going to add it to my crease. It was pigmented. Wasn't expecting it to be that red. So instead of patting it on, I actually just blended it out. So it wasn't, it already was pigmented enough. So I didn't need to build it up. And then I'm going to use that same brush and then go into my next shade which is going to be this orange and I'm just going to blend it on top need some colors I tell you and the next shade I'm going to go in is going to be white and I try to incorporate that white so I'm going to add it to my brow bone and it didn't really perform that well you can't really tell it was white it did look like a brow bone highlight but it didn't show up white like I wanted it to but that's okay the show must go on okay y'all so the next shade that i went in was this blue shade it almost looked purple but it actually is a midnight type of blue and i'm just packing this on to the outer v and i really was not liking how that blue turned out it almost looked purple but i didn't use a white base that's something i probably should have done since i'm using vibrant colors but i didn't so again we must go on And I just took my brush and blended that red. I added a little more to it because a lot of times you'll end up losing some of your color once you start applying all these colors. And then the next shade I'm going to go in is going to be a green. And that green is like a, I don't know what, I don't know what you call it. It's not a forest green because that's the deeper shade next to it. But I decided to use this green. And again, it wasn't that vibrant either, but again, the show must go on. And 
and I didn't go all the way into the center of my lid. I'm going to leave that part red. Okay, y'all. I took this Almay Le Quad palette just to give my green some shimmer. And I just placed it on top of that green I had already put on. And it really still wasn't that um, vibrant pigmented or whatever. So I did end up spraying my brush a few times and stuff to see if I can get it to stand out more. So it did a little better once I sprayed my brush. Okay, yeah. Then I decided to take this Rimmel liquid eyeliner and it actually looks purple. I'm not sure of the color, but I didn't really want purple. I wanted blue. So I just used it to make my wing and I took my eyeshadow, the blue eyeshadow that I used in that palette and just stamped it on top of that liquid eyeliner. And of course, y'all, it's hard for me to do wing. So, I had to, once I finished with it, I got some concealer to try to clean it up some. The struggle is real, I tell you. Okay, y'all, so this is my final look. Got my lashes on. I received these lashes in a giveaway from Accessorize Your Life. And now I've already primed my face with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I'm using the Revlon Youth Foundation. And I'm just going to blend it out with my Damp Beauty Blender. And this foundation is off. But I'm going to make it work. This foundation is in my beauty basket for the month. But you know, girl, we'll make it work. And then I took this Revlon highlighter. It's a concealer, but I use it to highlight. And I'm going to just press that in with my same beauty blender. Then to set my highlighted areas, I'm going to use my Kat Von D Brightening Powder. I am almost done with it. It'll be in my empties next month. And I put a little bit too much on my sponge, so I'll come back. And then also, I think my sponge was a little too damp on that side because it left me a little patchy. But the show must go on once again. And I'm taking my Maybelline Super Stay Powder and just finishing up my face, blending everything together. Then to contour, I'm using my favorite L'Oreal Infallible Powder in Cocoa. This is my favorite right now. I have to make sure I get that chin because you know your girl got a double chin in. And can't forget to, oops, the nose. Gotta get that nose. Okay. Now, I'm going to 
take that Rimmel pencil and going to place it on the bottom of my, not in my waterline, but um, on the bottom of my eye. I don't know what you call it, where my eye, eyelash is at, but not on my waterline. And then I'm going to use the blue eyeshadow at the palette and place it on top. Just dab it on top because this pencil um, is more like a purple, but I don't want purple. I want it blue. So I'm taking my brush and I'm going to dab it, place it on there about three quarters of the way. I wanted to do halfway, but one eye, I went over too far. So what you do to one, you have to do to the other one. So that's it. And then in the inner part of my eyelid, I'm going to go back in that green Alme palette and put it in the front and I'm also going to use that as my tear duct color. And then I'm just going to take my Alme blush palette and use um, that blush in that palette and use my DLS highlighter to highlight. And y'all, hey, that will complete this look, y'all. And don't forget, if you hadn't already, subscribe to your girl channel and give this video a what? Thumbs up. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this video. And don't forget, like I said, to go check out the Beauty Collab family. So, thank y'all for watching and have a blessed day.